Chicago, here come the middleweights. He arrives from the Twin Cities in hostile territory for tonight's matchup. Please make him feel welcome, Thomas Jenkins. Thomas Jenkins is an intimidating dude. We asked him about his haircut, and he said, I'm trying to bring it back into style. Whether you call it a mullet, a Texas tailgate, or neck curtains, it's here to stay. I mean, you're going to see a, a really serious style in him, too. He's got that tall frame, good Muay Thai background, and no, watch for his low kick and his liver shots. You know? He likes slipping off the right hand to set it up. Let's see how that tall frame can deal with a shorter power fighter in the victory. He makes his glory debut in front of some hometown fans. Here comes Andrew Navickis. He's always coming forward. You know, he's always looking to throw the big shot, trying to find the, the ability to knock you out. He's still newer in his pro career. He's got four professional fights, but 35 fights as an amateur. 187 pounds, that's the weight limit for this class. A couple years ago, Andrew weighed 260 pounds. So he is in shape and ready to go tonight. Here's our tale of the tape. It's a grizzly bear versus a mullet. 35 years old to Jenkins, 30. Jenkins, six foot four, and will have a four and a half inch reach advantage. Professional experience, both gentlemen still new in their professional career, but you gotta look at that KO percentage. Five fights, five finishes for Thomas Jenkins. This middleweight matchup once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds and introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner. He was with us here in Chicago at Glory 58. His young professional record, three wins, two losses, but all three of those wins have come by way of knockout. He stands six feet four inches tall, 1.93 meters, and he weighed in a fight time at 185 and one half pounds, 84.1 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, here is Thomas Jenkins. His opponent fighting out of the white corner comes in two of his last three in the win column. His professional record, three wins, one loss. One of those wins coming by way of knockout. He makes his glory debut tonight. Standing six feet even, 1.83 meters. He weighed in a fight time at an even 186 pounds, 84.4 kilograms. Fighting out of Love's Park, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Andrew Hard Knocks Navikis. Once again, your referee in charge is Brian Miner. On a very serious and sad note, Thomas Jenkins dedicating his fight tonight to his father, Don, a carpenter who passed away two weeks ago following a long battle. So he's dedicating this fight to his father's memory. And I know his mom is his number one supporter. So hello to Mary watching tonight in Minneapolis. Best of luck Thomas, to your son, Thomas, Andrew, here in Chicago. Scheduled for three rounds, middleweight division, Jenkins in the black gloves. Navikis in the white. You see Jenkins wanting to switch stances. Came out orthodox, quickly switched. So looking to switch stances, but no surprise, Navikis is gonna want to pressure, but it's Thomas Jenkins that's doing the work. So right, big right, 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 right hands right. from Navikis. Right. Time! Hey, put your corner right there. You're gonna see Navikis want the overhand being the shorter fighter. Jenkins wanted to land uh, the knees. Five. Put the knees, spring them up. Navikis 28 and 7 as an amateur. 
said, watch my uppercuts, my leg kicks, yes, and sir. my hooks. All right. Time in. This is the second time we're seeing Jenkins in Glory. His first fight, Glory 58, Chicago. He had a fight with Matt Baker, which is a tough fight for anybody. Good low kick there for Jenkins. Break, break. Clean break. Hands up. Box. In 2007, Andrew Novickis saw a poster for a tough man kickboxing competition. Said he's never, he said he'd never thrown a kick in his life. He was just a boxer, break, but he entered it break, and, he and won the tournament, won a thousand bucks. And that's Box. how he became a kickboxer. Yeah, and he didn't get to win four fights in two nights, too. Crazy. He said they had a mandatory that you had to throw three kicks around, so he go out there and just throw kicks and like a soccer right. player right off the top, three of right. them, and then box. Yep. Fight. Vickers really slamming that overhand right. The smart move what he just did though, he right. threw two right. overhand rights, then mixed right. it to an uppercut. So change angles with the right hand. Fight. Body kick from Jenkins. Right, right. Thomas Jenkins lost his fight to Matt Baker via right hand, so that's probably what Navikis saw in that fight, and that's why he's continuing to throw it. Spinning back this from Navikis. Nice knees from Jenkins. That's what he has to do against that, that boxing pressure. Right. Back up. Clean break. Clean break. Clean break. Jenkins said he didn't do well in his glory bait debut against Matt Baker because Baker was a tall guy like him. Says he does better against shorter guys. But Navik is bringing the hammer early. Yeah, he's coming. That's what he has to do, though. If you, you can't play outside with that length that Jenkins has, so Navik does that? have to enter. A smarter move for Navik would be to enter on angles because you know that Jenkins is going to throw that knee. So mixing the angles on the enter could right. save him from right. getting hit from one of those. I'm going to grab. Break. Let's go. Fight. Break! Break! Fight! That'll do it for round one. Let's get to know Andrew Navikis a little better. Nickname Hard Knocks. I told you about his tough man competition. He says, hey, when I'm not in the gym, I'm hanging out with my wife and my four daughters. Good luck with that, Andrew. I've got three and I can barely handle it. beautiful belly. Remember, he's got that scar tissue right there? The strip. You see his opponent, Thomas Jenkins, fighting out of yeah, Minnesota. You see in his corner, yeah, Troy yeah. Chubble Jones. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to see signature yeah, strikes from Jenkins right. going as liver shots and low kicks. He's up three of his last four fights. You see some of the work there. It's all Navik is really trying to slam that right hand, but Jenkins is doing a good job wow. trying to land his knees, mix his so kicks in between. Hold it. So definitely a very okay. close round. Round two, scheduled for three. We'll soon see the judges' scores, and all three giving it to Andrew Navikas. Here's your point, right there, right there. Hey, Grace, Grace. I usually don't watch like watching these replays, but there it is. It's Grace, though. All right. The toes nicked. Yeah. The toes nicked the cup. You good to go? You want to go? Yeah? All right. Time in. Box. Yeah, you see the corner of Jenkins wanting to throw the jab, which is a smart move. It's a good way to keep Navikus away from him. If you're tall and long, fight tall and long. Yeah, use your jab, use your kicks on the outside. As the pressure comes in, mix the knees. Right, right, knee break, hands up, knee break. Nice left hook to the body, followed knee to the head for Jenkins. 
just missed. Break! Break! Clean break. Box. Good counter punches from Navikis, but Jenkins now bringing the volume. I'll tell you what, these guys are middleweights, but they look at least like light heavyweights. And Navikis hits like a heavyweight. And now he suffers a low blow. Exchanging the favor. Here's this replay. Yep. It's our third low blow of the fight so far. Good respect from Jenkins to kind of lay up after he saw that Navikis was hurt. What was your strategy when hit with a low blow? How did you get over as quick as possible? Well, for me, for some reason, it kind of got me more aggressive. So when I came out from a low blow, you always see me a little bit more fire. I just wanted to get it back. But it can gas a, gas a fighter you out. You want to you start feeling, right. you know, nausea in your stomach. Time in. Makes Box. it difficult to breathe, so definitely takes a, a gas tank down a few notches. Oh, good right hand and then a body kick back from Jenkins. Yeah, if you know someone is really clubbing with their right hand, you can throw the left kick to the arms, kind of shut fight down out, that, fight out. that punch. Right, right, clean break, clean break. Let's go, come on, let's go, fight. Good right hand there. Oh, that down. may have been a body shot. That One. sent Navikas down. No, it was Two. the right hand from Jenkins, I Three. saw. I could have been Four. wrong, but it looked like a, a nice right hand. Six, seven. Eight, hands up. I don't even think Navikis knows what it was that sent him down. But yeah. he comes right back forward again. It was a delayed reaction. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds for the body to register. And now Jenkins trying to get a home run. Swinging for the fences. Uh, Jenkins wants the KO too. He's going after it. Oh, big right hand. And, then, and down goes Navikis for the second time. Two, and I don't think he's going to get up. He will not. to his father yes! gets his win tonight in Chicago. And you can see how much it means to him. A lot of emotion in all fight week. We really saw him patient, holding things in, and he just let his emotions out. Congratulations Mom, to you. Thomas Jenkins. What's the time? A big kiss to his Two mother, one, Mary, one. back home in Minneapolis. What a night for him and his family. And Two, hey, one, give it up for Andrew Two, Navikis who came to fight. Yeah, he came scrapping. He won the first round. Came in slugging the power punches. He just got caught with that right hand. And the same thing happened to Jenkins in his debut. So you get better, you learn, you come back, and you do what Jenkins did. Let's see what happened on that first knockdown, Joe. I, I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah, I just caught that little right hand, clipped the tempo, and then you can see that delayed reaction where Navikis had to kind of sit down. You see him grabbing his chin there. Goes right on the point. Boom. All you need is those nice two knuckles to touch the temple. And that day relaxing got a knockdown. Then the second one came. You see Jenkins fainting, trying to get, you know, uh, trying to get Andrew to bite. The biggest kind of bit. Boom. Got the finish. One more look at it. He was damaged goods at this point. You can see it in his face, Joe. Yeah. He was ready to go. The left hook came, the right hand clipped. I mean, after that first knockdown, it didn't take too much, but that right hand clipped the jaw, the left clipped the jaw, the right hand just on top of the ear. You got to finish for Thomas Jenkins. We'll make it official here for Thomas Jenkins when we return to Chicago. Take a quick look at our highlights. A knockout victory for Thomas Jenkins, who improves to 4-2, 4-2, and all four of his wins have come by KO. Andrew Navikas, though, came out in the first round, really pushed the tempo, landed some heavy shots like that left hook there, and won the round, I believe, by all three judges. Round two, though, a different story as Jenkins landed that shot on the tempo. Navikas seems done, didn't know where he was, after that, it was all downhill as Jenkins pushed forward, landed that right hand, and it was all she won. One, one, two, three. Final strikes by zone. You can 
see that Jenkins threw 105, landed 48. Navikas threw 110, landed 53. It was very close until that second round when Jenkins put Navikas down. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an end with an official time of two minutes, 18 seconds of that second round and ends by knockout for your winner, Thomas Jenkins. All right, I'm here with your winner, Thomas Jenkins. Hey, thank you, man. I'm impressed with your performance, man. How you feeling after that finish? I uh, feel good. Feel strong. Feel good. Can't complain. Well, you came in to fight week. You were very calm, but then the emotion came out. You were dedicating this fight to your father. How did it feel, man? I uh, felt good. Uh, I lost my father two weeks ago, and uh, this was for him. All right, well, we're going to take a look at your work right now. Let's look at the monitor right in front of you here, Thomas. And let's, let's go through it, and Take me through uh, what was going on when you set up this finish. This uh, is the first one. Take us through it. Yeah, it was straight right. Uh, my coach, Ryan, we've been working just straight right. It's piss pounding just straight from, the, straight from the hip, working on that. So fortunately, it worked. First round, I was throwing a lot of overhands, which isn't really my style. Used the fake there, caught him slipping, and just finished it from there. That's off to Andrew, though. He's really tough, man. In the first round, he came and he brought it. And for a debut like that, I, I felt like he did a really amazing job. So cheers to Andrew Naviscus. Thank you for giving me a good fight. I really appreciate it. I know your mom's at home watching Mary. You got a message for her watching back home? Because I'm sure she's nervous. Uh, yeah, I love you more than anything. Uh, and this was for Dad. All right, Chicago, let's hear it for Thomas Jenkins. Well, if anyone who's lost a parent knows what he's going through right now, just two weeks after losing his father, so much emotion. It's tough to keep it in check and under control when you're in a fist fight, but he was able to do it. He got a knockout. So uh, it's a night that him, his mother, and his entire family will never forget. Yeah, there's a lot of emotion and stress to deal with without, you know, a situation like that in your life. So you can see how much it means to the Jenkins family, and it's just happy to see it. But again, I want to say an impressive debut for Navikis, and hope to see both gentlemen back.